Spider-Man Remastered is a game you need to play at least once in your life. But I get it, a lot of you aren't going to be convinced by the music video I uploaded previously. So I've decided to pair my video editing with my limited vocabulary, effectively using up the last of my remaining brain cells in an attempt to provide an audio-visual representation of my experiences with the game and relay them to you in a semi-digestible, hopefully entertaining medium. But if I had to summarize the game, it would be with this line. Gang of costume nutjobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. All right, let's do this one last time. The web swinging in this game is amazing. The controls are very intuitive. The animation has a really good flow. You really feel like you're swinging around New York. It's such an incredible experience. They clearly put so much time, energy, and creativity into the web swinging that it really does a great job of being a standalone, enjoyable experience. But it doesn't stand alone, it perfectly blends with the world and the combat to create a truly immersive blend of web swinging, skydiving, car catching, bad guy blasting action. Speaking of combat, it's the highlight of the entire game. Free flow action similar to the Batman Arkham franchise, you have light attacks, web attacks, gadgets, suit powers, finishing moves, and throwable objects that include their own weapons. With all of these toys to play with, you're gonna have fun for a long time. I mean seriously, do you guys know how hard it is to not just go... Alright, I'm having a good time here, this is fucking gameplay. This footage doesn't even do justice to how much you feel like a threat in this game. They give you all of these tools, then they fill the room with enemies, sometimes you're fighting up to 20 people, jumping and dodging for your life. The more you play and the more skilled you get at the combat, the better combos you can pull off and you can make some really amazing plays. The visual effects paired with the sound design makes it really feel like you're hitting these guys so hard. And the gameplay feels so satisfying. Like in this moment, I hit this guy so hard that my game crashed. 10 out of 10, best game I've ever played, hands down. Here, let me try another example. Maybe this one will help. You'll never get to the boss. You gotta get through both of us. Just you two? What does it matter how many of us there is? You'll never make it to the boss, because you're going to die right now. Alright, you next? What you mean I'm next? I mean, you about to get what he got. No, I'm not. You about to get what he got. Put your dick. I'm the watchful protector of my city, the silent guardian, the dark knight. I am Batman. Oh wait, sorry, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Just based on the combat alone, this game's already a 10 out of 10, but that's just how the game plays on the surface. And even that is good enough reason to buy and play this game. If that's all you want from the game, I highly recommend it. However, this story just has so much emotional depth. But I don't want to spoil it all for you, but I will spoil one of the more impactful moments, because it's one I want to talk about. So, spoiler warning. During the confrontation with Lee about halfway through the game, there's one specific line that always kind of stood out to me. What's one life? A simple trade. One life for a city of souls. Much like with Peter, I don't think it really sticks in your mind the first time you hear it because you're in the middle of that climactic fight with Lee, so it kind of goes by unnoticed. However, I can also say it's probably the line that haunts Peter the most because it's ultimately the... the, the because it's ultimately the, the... Fuck! It's the choice he has to make in the emotional climax of the game. Look, I already told you guys I only had but a couple brain cells left. Alright, you're pushing it now. I think you might be asking a little too much. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. 
You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter. Even when it hurts Peter? like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter! This is all my fault. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben, what did you take in? Harry All said, the people you Norman saved. Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. You have to be a man for a city of souls. You can make the hardest decisions. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Ah! In this one moment, Peter's resolve, his ideals, his strength of character, all of it is truly being put to the test. He knows what the right decision is, but that decision requires so much personal sacrifice that as Peter, it's hard to make that choice. It's an impossible choice. What's one life? It's a simple trade. One life for a city of souls.